Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Oguntade, coming to you live and direct from Columbia, South Carolina. Coming to you live and direct from Columbia, South Carolina. Coming to you live and direct from Columbia, South Carolina. Coming to you live and direct from Columbia, South Carolina. Let me first say good Garvey Day to my continental Africans. I want to know my brothers and sisters in the Republic of Kenya, we ride with you. I want my brothers and sisters in the Republic of Kenya to know we ride with you. I want my brothers and sisters in the Republic of Kenya to know that we are riding with you. I want my brothers and sisters in the Congo to know we are riding with you. I want my brothers and sisters in the Congo to know we are riding with you. I want to know my brothers and sisters in the Sahel to know we are riding with you. President Ibrahim Trehorde, keep up the good work. President Ibrahim Trehorde, keep up the good work. Brother Ibrahim Trehorde, keep up the good work. I'm riding with Burkina Faso. I'm riding with Burkina Faso. I'm riding with Mali. I'm riding with Mali. I'm riding with Niger, brothers and sisters. I'm riding with Niger. Brothers and sisters, peace and Pan-Africanism to the Caribbean family. My Haitian Africans, we stand in solidarity with Haiti. My Haitian Africans, we stand in solidarity with Haiti. My Haitian Africans, we stand in solidarity with Haiti. My South American Africans, we stand in solidarity with you. My Central American Africans, I will see you August 16th and 17th in Costa Rica. I will see you for the Marcus Garvey celebration. I will see you for the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey birthday celebration. Puerto Viejo, Costa Rica. August 16th, 17th. I'm waiting to see what Irie FM is going to do with Sunday, August the 18th in Jamaica. I'm waiting to see if Irie FM in Jamaica wants to do Sunday. I'm waiting to see if Irie FM, if Irie FM wants to do Sunday, August the 18th for the Garvey celebration, I will be in Jamaica. I will be in Jamaica. I will be in Jamaica on Sunday, August the 18th. If not, I will be in Costa Rica for another day. I will be in Costa Rica for another day. I want to see everybody in Nat Turner land, August the 21st. I want to see everybody in Nat Turner land, August the 21st. I want to see everybody in Druryville, Virginia at the Nat Turner library on August the 21st. But tonight we got a lot to talk about right here in Columbia, South Carolina. We will be at 200 Wayne Street tonight at seven o'clock. Doors open up at six. We will be at 200 Wayne Street in Columbia, South Carolina tonight. I repeat, we will be at the Legacy Hut, 200 Wayne Street here in Columbia, South Carolina, across the street from the Whaley Building, behind the gas station. $10 donation at the door. We're going to talk about it tonight. We're going to talk about it tonight because, see, one thing we're not going to do is let the Democratic Party manipulate us through fear-mongering. One thing we're not going to do is let the Democratic Party manipulate us through fear mongering. Can somebody please contact Vice President Kamala Harris? Can somebody please contact presumptive Democratic Party presidential nominee Kamala Harris and let her know if you want the black vote, you have to deliver black concessions. We will not vote out of fear of Donald Trump. Can somebody please call, please go tell Vice President Kamala Harris what I just said? Can somebody please go tell the vice president of these United States that if you want the black vote, you will earn it. You will not get it out of fear of Donald Trump. Somebody tell Kamala Harris that she will not get the black vote because people are fr afraid of Donald Trump. We've been through that rodeo. We didn't already been through that rodeo. We've been through that rodeo with Joe Biden. We've been through that fear of the Republican rodeo with Barack Obama. We've been through that with Bill Clinton. We've been through that with Jimmy Carter. We've been through that too many times. We're not voting out of fear. We are voting out of concessions. We are voting out of resources. We are voting out of rights. We are voting for empowerment. We will not vote out of fear. Somebody go tell the Democrats that. Somebody go tell the Dem Democrats that. Now, let me talk about my sister, Sonia Massey, rest in paradise. 
Let me talk about my sister, Sonia Massey, rest in paradise, who lost her life in Springfield, Illinois. Let me talk about my sister, Sonia Massey, who lost her life in Springfield, Illinois, shot three times in the face. Shot three times in the face by white supremacy. Shot three times in the face by white supremacy for doing nothing at all but holding a pot of hot water. She took that water to the ground when the police officer asked her to get rid of it. She said, I'm sorry. She said, I'm sorry. I apologize. And she dropped down with the hot bucket of water. She couldn't drop the water. She would have burned herself. She couldn't drop the water. She burned herself. She couldn't drop the water, so she stooped down with the water so as to show that she posed no security threat at all to those officers, and they took her life anyway. They took her life anyway in Springfield, Illinois. Let me say this, Black America. Let me say this to my Springfield, Illinois Africans. Let me say this to my Chicago, Illinois Africans. Let me say this to the entire 50 million American African population. If we let the Palestinians come to Chicago and show up and show out more than black people, we should be ashamed of ourselves. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. If the American African family, if the Springfield, Illinois family, after what they did to Sonia, if the Chicago, Illinois family, after this migrant crisis, if we let the Palestinians show up to the Democratic National Convention in Chicago from August 19th to August the 22nd, if the Arabs come to Chicago and protest stronger and protest better and protest more powerfully than the American Africans are, we should be ashamed of ourselves. With all the hell we catching right here in America, if we let the Palestinians show us up at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, we should be ashamed of ourselves. Springfield, Illinois, no excuses. Every one of you need to be in Chicago August 19th to the 22nd. Springfield, Illinois, every one of you need to be in Chicago at the D. Black Chicago, Black Illinois, it's time to show up and show out. And let me say this. Let me say this. We're going to talk about it tonight here in Columbia, South Carolina at 200 Main Street. Doors open up at 6. We're going to talk about it tonight here in Columbia, South Carolina, 200 Main Street tonight. Doors open up at 6. But let me say this. Springfield, Illinois, don't be hijacked by the fact that the officer was fired. Because he was charged, because he was relieved of duty. Springfield, Illinois, listen to your brother one time. Springfield, Illinois, listen to your brother one time. Springfield, Illinois, please listen to me. The reason that officer was arrested, the reason he was charged, the reason he was discharged of his duty is because the Democratic Party cannot afford to lose the state of Illinois to the Republicans. Do y'all hear me in the back? Do y'all hear me in the back? Do y'all hear me in the front? Do y'all hear me on the side? Do y'all hear me on the right? Do y'all hear me on the left? He was only arrested and charged because the governor of Illinois is a Democrat. I'm going to say it again. He was only arrested and charged because the governor of Illinois is a Democrat. They can't afford for black people to turn their backs on the Democrats in Illinois. They already got the Brandon Johnson migrant conspiracy. They already got the Brandon Johnson migrant conspiracy popping off in Illinois. They can't afford for Springfield, Illinois to turn up like Chicago is turning up. They can't afford for Springfield, Illinois to turn up like Chicago is turning up. So don't you sit down and get comfortable because he was arrested and charged. Don't you get comfortable because that man is going to trial. All they're doing this for. That cop was arrested because they don't want to lose your votes. And what they're going to do is drag out his trial. They're going to drag out his trial until after Kamala Harris is elected. And after Kamala Harris is elected, they will find some way to give him his job back and drop all the charges. You know I know what I'm talking about. You know I know what I'm talking about. You know I know what I'm talking about. So Springfield, Illinois, 
Don't you get comfortable because that cop was fired. You better get up off your ass and join our brothers and sisters in Chicago, Illinois at the Democratic National Convention. Every black person in America. If there was ever a time for us to show up and show out somewhere, it's August 19th to August the 22nd. Now, I got to go to Leo season. Leo season came in yesterday. Black August will be here in a minute. The Leo season came in yesterday. Let me check in with all my Leos. Where are all my Leos and lionesses at? Shout out your birthday if you born under the sign of the sun. Where my Leos at one time? Where my Leos at one time? We're my Leos in Africa, my Leos in Europe, my Leos in Canada, my Leos in California, my Leos in North Carolina, my Leos in Virginia. We're my Leos in Omaha. We're my Leos in Houston and Dallas. We're my Leos in the Caribbean. It's Leo season. It's Leo season, brothers. And you know, Black August is always the month where we show up and show out as African people. Black August is always the month when we show up and show out as African people. So I need y'all to show up and show out at the Democratic National Convention. I need y'all to show up and show out at the Democratic National Convention like Queen Mother Ancestor Fannie Lou Hamer did in Atlantic City in 1964. Queen Mother Fannie Lou Hamer showed up at the Democratic National Convention in 1964 with the entire Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party. I said Queen Mother Fannie Lou Hamer showed her ass. Queen Mother Fannie Lou Hamer showed her ass. She showed up and showed out with the entire black Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party at the Democratic Convention in 1964. I want you to show up and show out like Bobby Seale, co-founder of the Black Panther Party. He showed up and showed out in 1968 at the Democratic National Convention. Bobby Seale showed up and showed out. Fannie Lou Hamer showed up and showed out. What are we going to do? What are we going to do, black America? This is not just about Chicago. This is not just about Springfield. This is not just about Illinois. This is about the future of the American African community. New York City, you need to come to Chicago. Texas, you need to come to Chicago. Carolinas, Georgia, you need to come to Chicago. Oakland, L.A., Compton, stop dancing to Kendrick Lamar and let's get some activism in. Stop dancing to Kendrick Lamar and come get some activism in. We can't party our way to liberation. We can't rap our way to liberation. We can't dance our way to liberation. We can't pray our way to liberation. We can't march our way to liberation. We got to fight, disrupt, and protest. What did the Honorable Frederick Douglass say? If there is no struggle, there is no progress. What did Queen Mother Harriet Tubman say? What did Queen Mother Harriet Tubman say? She said, I freed plenty of slaves. I could have freed more if they only knew that they were slaves. Queen Mother Harriet Tubman said, I freed plenty of slaves. Could have freed more if they only knew that they were slaves. Queen Mother Harriet Tubman said, I had a right to two things. And if I couldn't have one, I would surely have the other. Queen Mother Harriet Tubman said, I have a right to two things. And if I can't have one, I would surely have the other. Freedom or death. Queen Mother Harriet Tubman said, freedom or death. That's what she said. In black America, I'm telling you right now, it's all about freedom or death. What we ain't going to do is vote for Trump because we tired of the Democrats. What we ain't going to do is vote for Kamala because we scared of the Republicans. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again, brothers and sisters. What we ain't going to do is vote for Trump because we tired of the Democrats. And what we ain't going to do is vote for the Democrats because we scared of Trump. I said we ain't going to vote for Trump because we tired of the Democrats. And we ain't going to vote for the Democrats because we scared of Trump. We want resources. Where's the anti-black hate bill? I ain't heard a word from the red or the, or the blue. Where's the anti-black hate bill? Where's the George Floyd police reform bill? Where's the laws against over suspending and expelling black kids? Where's the program to crush the school to prison pipeline? Where is the agenda to stop black femicide, black women being murdered, choked out and killed? Black women dying in the process of giving birth. I ain't heard a word from Kamala Harris. I ain't heard a word from Donald Trump. 
I ain't heard a word from Kamala Harris. I ain't heard a word from Donald Trump. I ain't heard a word from Kamala Harris and I ain't heard a word from Donald Trump. Has either candidate spoke on Sonia Massey's assassination? Has Kamala Harris spoken to Sonia Massey's execution by the deputy in Springfield, Illinois? Has former President Trump spoken to Sonia Massey's execution by the police, by the deputy in Springfield, Illinois? They ain't said a word about our sister. They ain't said a word about our sister and black women running around talking about Kamala Harris is the choice for the black community. She ain't even said a word about our sister being assaulted and assassinated. Three shots to the head, three shots to the skull, three shots to the face is what Sonia Massey took and Kamala Harris ain't said a word yet. I love my AKAs, but don't come to me with that nonsense. I love my AKA sisters, but don't come to me with no vote for Kamala Harris. She ain't even spoke out about Sonia Massey, so-called black vice president. She ain't said a word about Sonia Massey. Donald Trump ain't said a word about Sonia Massey. We are not voting out of emotion. We are voting because we have been promised tangible resources. We are not black America this year is not voting out of emotion. We will not vote out of emotion this year. We owe it to the ancestors. We owe it to our children. We owe it to our elders. We owe it to all the Africans murdered by police. We owe it to the victims of the Buffalo Massacre. We owe it to our family all over the world. We will not vote out of emotion. To vote for Donald Trump because you're tired of the Democrats, that is an emotional vote. To vote for Kamala Harris because you're scared of Donald Trump, that is an emotional vote. We're not voting out of emotion this year. What are you promising black America? Peace now. Thank you. Well, that fit on the table there. All right. All right. You sign me up. All right. Thank you. Oh, yes, sir. I can't complain. Okay. Here we go. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. All right, man. Thank you, man. We're not voting out of emotion this year, family. We are not voting out of emotion. If anybody from the Republican Party plantation come to you with some fear mongering, if anybody from the Republican Party plantation, if anybody from the Democratic Party plantation come to you with some fear mongering, if any Negroes from either plantation, because we are the runaway Africans. We are the runaway slaves. We don't want the blue plantation and we don't want the red plantation. We want freedom. I said we are the runaway Africans of 2024. We don't want the red plantation and we don't want the blue plantation. We don't want slave master Trump. We don't want slave master Harris. We want freedom. We want freedom. We ain't choosing no plantation. We choosing freedom, brothers and sisters. Letting these people make you feel ashamed because you're too intelligent to be manipulated. Don't you let these plantation slaves, these Democratic Party plantation slaves make you feel bad because you're too intelligent to be manipulated. Don't you let them manipulate your emotions out of fear. We're the only people asked to vote out of fear. We're not voting out of fear no more. We're not voting out of fear no more. Deliver us the resources. You got three months, Kamala Harris. You got three months, Donald Trump. You got three months, Kamala Harris. You got three months, Donald Trump. Deliver me some resources. We want an anti-black hate bill. We want an anti-black hate bill. If we can't get no anti-black hate bill, you ain't getting no vote. We want reparations for the American African family. If you're not endorsing reparations, you ain't getting no black vote. That's right. We want qualified immunity eliminated for the police. No more qualified immunity for the police. If you can't deliver us the elimination of qualified immunity for the police, you're not getting my vote. If you can't do something about the school to prison pipeline, you're not getting my vote. 
If you're not going to stop the migrant crisis in the black community, you're not getting my vote. If you don't do something about all these black people in jail for crimes they never committed, you can't get my vote. We're not voting out of fear no more. I plan on coming to Chicago. I plan on coming to Chicago. I'm flying straight in from Jamaica. I'm coming straight from the land of Garvey to Chicago to stand with my Springfield, Illinois brothers and sisters. I'm standing with the family of Sonia Massey. I'm standing with my Chicago African family at the Democratic National Convention. We cannot let the Palestinians show us up. And most much respect to the Palestinians. They have a right to fight and protest. I ain't got no issue with y'all. But I'm fighting for my people first and you should be able to understand that and I'm not making no excuses and I'm not explaining myself. You fighting for Palestine in Chicago, I'm fighting for black people in Chicago. You do you and we going to do us. Much respect to the Palestinian people. You fight your fight. But I'm only crying for black people. I'm only struggling for black people. I'm only pushing for black people. So we come into Chicago. We want justice. We want justice. Every black person in America, if you can only get to the DNC for one day, if you can only get to the DNC for six hours, if you can only touch the ground and walk around in the protest, you need to be on out there. This is about the future of our babies, our community. We can't take this laying down no more. Democratic Party wants you to vote because you scared of Donald Trump. Republican Party wants you to vote because you tired of the Democrats. We not voting out of emotion. You better put some food on my plate. What you going to do about the banks practicing racism and discrimination against the American African people? What you going to do about all these banks discriminating against us and redlining us? What you going to do about gentrification? Ain't nobody voting for nobody out of emotions. Them days is over, brothers and sisters. Columbia, South Carolina, I'm in the building. 200 mainstream tonight. Columbia, South Carolina, I'm in the building. It's going down 200 Main Street tonight. Doors open up at 6. Miami, Florida, I'm going to see you next Saturday. This Saturday. Miami, Florida, I'm going to see you Saturday, 12 until 7, for the celebration of the direct descendants of Africans enslaved in America. Miami, Florida, pull-up season. Miami, Florida, pull up. And then I'm going to see my Detroit Africans in Ypsilanti at the Black Consciousness Conference next weekend, Friday and Saturday, August 2nd and 3rd, Ypsilanti, Michigan, Ypsilanti, Michigan, Y-P-S-I-L-A-N-T-I, -I, Black Consciousness Conference, Friday and Saturday, August 2nd and 3rd, it's time to organize a die. I wish one of you Democratic Party plantation slaves would jump on my live with that crap. I wish one of you Democratic Party plantation slaves would jump on my live with that crap. You can't manipulate me out of emotion. I'm not voting out of no damn fear. You out of your mind. Trump and Harris ain't getting my vote until they put some food on my table. And let me say this to the rappers and the athletes and the actors. Go to that DNC and show your ass on that stage acting like a good house Negro. We're going to cancel your ass. Because you know they're going to pull out some Negro pins to speak up for Kamala in Chicago. You're going to go to Chicago while people are being exterminated and exiled and you're not going to demand nothing. And you're going to get up there and tell black people to vote for Kamala. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. So let that be a message to the House Negro celebrities of America. Let that be a message to the House Negro celebrities of black America. Get on up there and show your ass for the Democrats. We're going to cancel your ass off the plantation. We're going to cancel your ass off the plantation. Go ahead. Go ahead. Play with me if you want. And keep my name out your mouth because ain't none of y'all unapologetic. Fake ass gangster rappers. Y'all don't do nothing for the black community. Y'all don't do nothing for the black community. I can't wait to see what Negroes they put on the stage for Kamala Harris. Black August Leo season. Democratic National Convention, Springfield, Illinois, what you going to do? Chicago, Illinois, what you going to do? Black Illinois, Black America, you better get to the DNC. The first day is August 19th. The second day is August 20th. I can't be there the 21st. That's Nat Turner. I can't be there on my solar return. That's Nat Turner. 
I can't be there on my solar return. August the 21st, that's Nat Turner. That's John Jacques Dessalines. That's the Satla Overture. That's Mark Kandal. That's Bookman. That's Cecil Fataman. That's Henry Kristoff. I can't be there on the 21st, but I'm going to pull up straight from Jamaica or Costa Rica. I got to get there for a day or two. Chicago, if there's any protest, please send me the information. Chicago or Springfield, if there's any protests going down at the DNC, August 19th, 20th, or 22nd, send me the information, please. The 19th and the 20th is going to be my best days. The 19th and the 20th is going to be my best days. Chicago, text me the info, 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism, and I endorse this message. <laughs>